Hey everyone, it is time for episode 61, 61 of Happy Healthy Meals with Risa Auger. I am all alone today. I don't know how that happened, but it did. And um, oh, no, it didn't. No, it Hi. didn't. Hi. Hi. Oh, she's here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, uh, I thought I was going to be alone. She was in the bathtub like two seconds ago. Um, so dinner is done and we are recording obviously after bath time. Um, on the Monday of a three day weekend, she was been home all day. She had a little bit of fun and now yeah. she's kind of in a cuckoo stage ready before bed. So, uh, we just wanted to come at you and talk about keeping things simple. And I wanted to share with you one of the ways that I come up with meals. Um, I really like making things with just a few ingredients to keep it really easy, really easy. And it covers all the bases. Uh, of your something green, a veggie, a protein, a healthy fat, and a grain um, that, you know, is usually not of the glutinous sort, but sometimes that's okay. Uh, and so I want to talk about that, and then I'll share my meal plan. And then, um, you guys, I literally just saw a recipe for brownies with cauliflower in it. Oh my Gross. gosh. Gross. I know, right? Sounds disgusting, but I kind of want to try it just to see if that's one more way that we can hide the veggies, right? Because hiding gross. the veggies is always a good thing. Donut flavored cauliflower is gross. I didn't say donut flavored cauliflower. I mean brown. I said I think that you're. I think that you would end up like mushing them up and putting them in the brownies. Cauliflower tasted brownie sounds disgusting. Well, I don't think they taste like cauliflower. I think you would just taste the chocolate. Nah, anyway, disgusting. they're worth a try to see if they really are disgusting or not. But they are disgusting. Anyway, I um first just really want to share with you guys and reiterate to you guys yeah. how you're weird. Um, keeping it simple will keep you sane. Um, if you focus on just a couple things at every meal. Keeping the variety will be easier because you're not doing 75 ingredients every day and having to figure out what you're not having and blah, 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 blah. Um, but it also will cut down on what you buy and it'll keep your list focused at this grocery store. It'll keep you focused at the grocery store, which is always a good thing. And um, yeah, so... All the good things, right? Keeping it simple is always good. One less thing to worry about. Knowing that you have a bunch of different combinations. It also helps to use this method when you are trying to... My hair is like everywhere today, you guys. Oh my gosh. Uh, when you're trying to use the leftovers, you have a couple little things, but you don't quite have enough for what you think is a big thing. But you know what? You probably do. So here is my foolproof method Bullet to proof. making... No, we're not bulletproof, foolproof. Oh, foolproof. And it works every time. And I literally, this is how I build my meals, just about every single meal. Um, I take two veggies. Two. Two veggies. Two. Um, I add a green to that. So whatever greens you feel like having for the, the meal um, will totally work. And then I'm going to give you some examples because I kind of, I almost did this tonight. Um... So you mix it, uh, the two veggies, right, with a green, and then, um, and if one of those veggies is a green, that's like just extra greens, right? Extra greens in your meal, so yay, that's a good thing. Um, you want to mix a protein in there, your protein of choice, um, and then you want to add a grain to that of some sort, uh, or a carb of some sort, uh, glutinous, non-glutinous, grainy, non-grainy, whatever your meal plan happens to call for. It's totally up to you, but those are my things. And then you drizzle on your healthy fat. Drizzle. You cook it in it. You drizzle it after, however drizzle. you want to do it. But you need to make sure that you toss in that healthy fat to make it. Okay, I'll toss the ball. <laughs> she was exhausted like an hour ago, I swear. Um, you toss in that healthy fat, and that's what makes it all digest a little bit better. Keeps you even more satiated with the protein in it. Just makes everything taste better too. Beyond it makes that, everything taste makes better. everything taste better. Mm -mm. No, healthy fat 
cheese, oil, <gasps> butter. It's good stuff. See, you like that. Avocado, good. These are all good things. Okay, that's my... I okay, so about else. tonight, tonight I did this, um, and I did it mon meatless Monday way. So, um, I did but Brussels and beets, and I put in parsley, parsley. and I will include this recipe, um, like the ratios that I did, um, in the email that I sent out. So if you're not on my email, shameless yeah, plug email. to send me your email to reseauger at ymail.com because yeah, I will put you on my list and you will get this recipe because it, it was delicious. Um, Beep. So it was Brussels and beets with parsley and green onions. Um, so the green onions and the parsley were our green. And then the pars uh, the beets and the Brussels were the veggies and the Brussels are green. So we had extra green in there. Um, and then um, I put in a healthy fat that was also my protein, which was goat cheese. And I specifically used the fig goat cheese that Trader Joe's had for the holidays. Oh, it was so good. Um, and I used uh, Evo to cook it in and a splash of red wine for that, like, just touch of acid in, it, in the veggies. How dare you? Yeah, you could have had some. You didn't. You put wine in it. No, it's red wine vinegar. It doesn't actually have wine in it. Oh. Silly. So, um, yeah, Brussels, beets, parsley, the green onion, uh, the Did goat cheese. Do you mean the restaurant or do you mean the food? No, the food. The goat cheese was our protein and our healthy fat with the Evo, which was also another healthy fat. We had lots of fat today because I didn't have a lot in <laughs> my lunch, so I made up for it at dinner, which is totally fine. Um, and... Since the cheese was our protein, cheese. maybe another night I would have gone easy on the cheese and done um, some meatballs or some grilled chicken or grilled fish. Meatballs. That would have been amazing too. Um, so, Holly, I'm trying to talk here. Maybe next week because I didn't get the stuff for it this week. Okay. Um, so, uh, uh, maybe I could switch... We are having ground turkey, and I do have some shredded carrots, and that's what goes in it. Yay! It's really good, and I'll just make a meatloaf instead of meatballs. Yay! Mm, I could do that, and you could have that. Yay! Maybe I'm switching up my dinners. <laughs> um, so that is how that went, and you can do it in multiple dishes. You can mix it all up into one dish, but... You get those two veggies, the greens, you pick your grain. Oh, we had cauliflower gnocchi as our grain because it has potatoes in it, so that was our carb. Um, plus another veggie because it has cauliflower. And uh, also cooked in Evo. And for that, I really just put some Italian seasoning and some garlic um, and a couple sun-dried tomatoes. And that was it. I didn't even put sauce on it. It was lovely, just very simple. So... When you keep things simple, when you have a plan and you know the basic formula, you can put in whatever veggies you want, whatever protein you want, and you just know that you have to fill in those blanks for every one of your dinners. Blank, 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 blank. And then have the leftovers, although there were no leftovers tonight, uh, leftovers for lunch the next day, and it totally works. Um, so that's my deal for keeping it simple is to really just use the formula. Use this formula for your simple <laughs> meals and then you don't get overwhelmed when you're making dinner and you can focus on just those few ingredients and make them really shine so that you can actually taste them. Um, so what else is on my meal plan this week? I had it open and it just kind of went down the road from there. Okay, so tonight we had those roasted beets, right? Um, tomorrow I was going to make pork tacos, but maybe I'm making meatloaf. I don't know. Um... The next night, I was gonna. I'm making uh, harvest chili because it's Wednesday and has to be fast. So the harvest chili is pre-done from Trader Joe's. I just have to warm it up, warm up some broccoli to go with it, and call it a day. Um, and then our protein is going to be chicken, which is already pre-made. It's leftovers, so I'm just warming it up in the chili in the same pot. So I don't even have to wash another pot. It makes it super easy. Um, and you don't have to look at the next pot. day. I was going to do some red pepper soup with. Uh, wilted kale in it and some ground turkey and cauliflower um, florets. So uh, just as like a chunky soup and I thought it would be easy to take with us to 
Somebody has bingo night on Thursday. Huh? So, um, what have they told me? Yes, you have bingo night on Thursday. Yeah. So I don't know if we're going or if grandma's going, but anyway, I thought this might be easy to warm up and then during the day and then take it with us when we go play bingo yeah, because they are just selling snacks and drinks and that's it. No dinner is being sold for the fundraiser. But anyway, um, and then on Friday, we're going to have chili quiles with, I was going to get zucchini, but they were all out of zucchini, so I bought yellow squash, which actually my husband likes better. So we are going to do that instead. Um, and then, oh, with those tacos, I didn't talk about this. I was going to just make an onion and bell pepper salad. Um, I'll have bell peppers, cucumbers, um, and probably some avocado, and you just kind of, with the green, and green chilies, and you throw it all in there, and you mix it all up, and there, that, there's no dressing because the avocados make the end, the green chilies kind of, make this like coating on all the veggies and it's really good and it's fresh um and it's a mild chili so it doesn't overpower the spiciness that will be in the pork uh there is stuff going on over here so uh that is it thank you so much for joining me i know this was a quick episode Bye um, for the fun part. oh we still need to tell our joke what's your joke it's the regular it's not about food this time. oh it's not about food this time yeah no. What's it about? Why did the robber wash his clothes? Wait, why did the robber wash his clothes before he ran away with the loot? I don't know. Why did the robber wash his clothes before he ran away with the loot? Yes. <laughs> why? Because he wanted to make a clean getaway. Oh, my goodness. She heard it. <laughs> I did. I heard it earlier. But anyway, it was just as funny the second time around. So, go clean. Get a clean getaway. Um, use the formula to keep things easy because See, keeping things easy <laughs> will make everything else easier. And it's just one less thing that you have to stress out about. Uh, do a little dance, have a little fun. Thanks for joining us for episode 61 of Happy Healthy Meals with Risa and Holly Auger. And if you follow us on social media, leave us a comment. Let us know what looks good. Send me an email with your email so you can get this recipe. And um, leave me a comment and subscribe to the podcast so that you never miss an episode on YouTube or iTunes, wherever you want to listen to it. Thanks so much, you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.